I'm going to go over the uh, rear disc brake portion of this 14 bolt full floater rear end build. Um, the rear disc brake back brackets came from Cutthroat 4x4 on eBay. Um, they come with bolts, uh, the pre bent 3 8 steel bracket, it's good and tough, and a stainless steel locking plate for the bolts. So, uh, you won't need Loctite or anything. It's got a, a locking ring where you bend the tabs over on the flat of the bolt. <clears throat> I also got their stainless uh, brake line, 12 inch brake line. And then I've got a, uh, a do-it-yourself coil of brake line and fittings coming. Um, I'll just build my the rest of my rear brake line here. But uh, the stainless brake line comes with banjo bolt and crush washers. Got loaded calipers from AutoZone, um, rotors from AutoZone. Turned out pretty good, pretty nice looking, and it, it's gonna. I, I don't know. I think it cuts like 40 pounds of weight off the back end, which I don't really care about, but I just wanted good brakes back here. Um, did away with the uh, an emergency brake. I'm gonna go with a. Uh, a hydraulic hill lock um, to substitute as a emergency brake. You can go with Cadillac Eldorado calipers, but I just didn't want the mechanism back there getting banged around and stuff. So anyway, that's the prelude, and I'll go through the build in my videos. Got them primed with some Rust Oleum primer and uh, sprayed black with gloss black, and it is freaking humid here in central Iowa today, so yeah, bad hair day. Makes my hair so frizzy. Anyway, got a couple runs in them, but I don't really care if you're not really going to see them. I've seen some guys painting their uh, um, disc brake brackets like green and red and stuff like that, but no thanks. I'll go with black. I might spray the calipers when I get them with some silver or something like that. But. Dig my shirt. It says Daddy of Three. It's what the uh, the wife and first two boys made for me to announce that we were having a third. Anyway, one of my favorite t-shirts because of that. Got the disc brake brackets all dried after painting. And... There weren't any torque specs with uh, these half inch bolts, fine thread. I'm just gonna go what I like to call guten tight with the half inch drive ratchet, and that should be good. And then uh, it's got the locking ring around it. You'll bend a tab down onto one of the flats. So I'm not too concerned about it backing out. Didn't use any Loctite, no sense in that. Um, put a little bit of oil on the threads. And uh, I'll get those tight. My rotors should be here. My other three rotors and four calipers, loaded calipers, so they'll have new pins and pads and everything. Should be here tomorrow. Going all out on this rear end, I might as well put new studs in it. They're not that expensive, so anyway, I'll catch you back up tomorrow when I get my parts. Getting things ready to mount up on this. 14 bolt axle as far as my uh, disc brakes go. Got um, 73 to 87 calipers, three quarter ton calipers, and rotors. Got the uh, rotors all painted up with silver caliper paint. I don't really like it. The stuff seems to flake off very easily. There's a hair in that one. Nice. Anyway, yeah. If, like it's completely dry and I had a piece of cardboard just kind of rest against one of them and it just chipped it right off so I don't know I'm not too happy with it I thought I did everything by the way the can said but I don't know maybe not anyway it'll rust before long anyway um, hubs are all cleaned up I brushed some some of that rust oleum rusty metal primer on it and then hit them with some uh, Rust-Oleum gloss black calipers brand new or not brand new remanufactured loaded calipers from 
some auto zone. I just uh, clean those up with lacquer thinner, clean the little that oil they come with on them off of there and then sprayed them with rust oleum black. And I'm just getting ready to, once this is all dry, put bearings back in the hubs and seals and snap everything back together. Make sure the 2x4 is clean too so you're not dumping a bunch of crap down in your bearings. Flush all the way around. There you go and then when you uh, go to slide it on the, the uh, spindle, you'll put some oil around there to lubricate it so you're not going on dry. Okay, yes I should have safety glasses on. Got my seals in my hubs, now I gotta put the studs in. Now like I said before you put that this hub assembly on, throw some grease around this the lips of this seal. That'll keep it from tearing or folding under or doing something you don't want it to. I also put grease got the brake pads setting up with some uh, brake quiet. Put grease on the ceiling surface after I cleaned it all off really well. Alright, hub is slid on. We're going to set our bearings up now. Grab my pre-cleaned lock nuts and little thrust washer or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh yeah, and before you get all grouchy with me, yes I painted my whole rotor with uh, caliper paint, but before I drive this thing, don't worry, I'll scotch bright it off of there. I just want to try and prevent as much rust as possible. <clears throat> so then we slide our axle in. tilted just right and you'll get it to mesh with the gears the gasket in place spin the hub a little bit to get the bolts to line up there you go already got my <clears throat> bolts all cleaned up ready to rock I'm calling it good. All right, everything's tight. Added a little bit of uh, Enzo metal protector, like I said. On there, scratched up my uh, rotor. I'll touch it up. Man, I'm just really not happy with that caliper paint. It's kind of why I painted my calipers with engine paint instead of this silver caliper paint. I don't know, maybe once it gets set up harder it'll work better, but I mean right now I can, I can just peel it off with my fingernail. I scuffed everything with scotch bright like I said, blah blah blah, but who knows. Anyway, there's my kick-ass disc brake setup on my 14 bolt full floater rear end. And I'll top it all off with, uh, I think it'll take about three quarts of Vans Oil Series 2000 75W90 Race Proven Gear Lube. I'm a big fan of Vans Oil. My uncle's a uh, dealer, and I was a dealer for a while when I had my bigger shop. Um, but yeah, I think Vans Oil is pretty much the shiznit. <laughs> 